What we do here is go back, 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 back. back. Hey guys, this is Chris again, coming in with another review. Today it is the Carl's Corona, the Midensol Diver, I'm probably butchering that, but it is a Swedish micro brand, named after the town of Carl's Corona, which is, a, as I understand, a small fishing village. They have a Swedish naval base there and a Coast Guard base there. I have it sitting next to my orange monster here just for like a size comparison because this wear is a little bit big because it's got some pretty decent size specs. It comes in at 43 millimeters with a 22 millimeter case or 22 millimeter lugs, excuse me guys. This one here is the matte orange. These are selling right now on Long Island for about 330 bucks. It has that single dome. It's got these single dome AR sapphire crystal. They come in two different colors, the matte orange or the sunburst blue that you can get. Of course I got orange because you know like Clemson. And it's got the screw down crown here at the 3 o'clock. Chosen no date version as you know I prefer no dates. Get a little look at the case back here. comes with the, the NATO and it comes with a rubber dive strap also these are water resistant to 300 meters it comes with a Seiko NH35 movement which is really really solid reliable movement as you guys know but look at the details on that dowel it's got almost like that uh, that Nordic kind of shield I guess you could say and the bezel is actually pretty pretty easy to grip Pretty solid unidirectional bezel. This has got the fly indices here. Almost kind of similar to the Monster. Loom is not quite as good as this as it is on the you know, Seiko Loom on the Orange Monster. Like I said, I just wanted to do a quick comparison just to show you guys like the size comparison. This one about my only. One of my only things I don't like about it is it wears a little bit big. As, as you know, when it's just a die watch, it's supposed to be a little bit bigger. I kind of wish they would have went with a different, um, other than the dome crystal. And I wish they would have went with 20 millimeter lugs instead of tw 22. I'm going to shave down the sides. It's got a pretty thick case. As you can see here, it's about 13, 14 millimeters thick. Which I guess to house that you know that NH35 movement and to be water resistant down to 300 meters, got to be a little bit thick. Again, you can see the sun crown down here. It is a lot of watch for the money. I think I think anybody looking for like an entry level dive watch would find this interesting. You don't see these too often. I've seen maybe a couple in the groups. Probably gonna be a catch and release for me, anyways. Just wanted to check this one out, see how it is. Overall, I like it, but like I said, I, I kind of wish they would have went a little smaller. A little bit closer to the monster size, because this monster is, you know, the, orange, the monsters don't wear as big as they are. But anyways, guys, let me know what you think down there. Like and subscribe, all that stuff. Alright, peace.